Welcome back to another Nature's Always Right episode. Today we're just going to be talking real quickly about the trellis system that I used this year, and what I would change for next year, what went right, what went wrong. Now as far as the trellis design goes, this design was absolutely the best, where it comes and it anchors down into the ground. And it worked really excellently, um, even on my cucumbers over there that were very heavy, even when these tomatoes were very heavy, there really wasn't too much sag in these lines which is really good. And you know, one upgrade that I talked about in the video that would be great is to have turnbuckles. In the example videos I showed of other people that gave me ideas, they had turnbuckles connected into here. Um, so this line would actually be connected to the back of this. And then they have a turnbuckle right here that they could tighten to make this line a lot tighter. You can also put a turnbuckle down at this end. When there was some sag, I was able to pull on this and get it a bit tighter. But ultimately, if you could pull this tight, I think this would be really good. If you could pull this tight and then you have a turnbuckle down here, so one person pulls the slack out and then the other person tightens the turnbuckle, I think that would be excellent. It wouldn't be that expensive. It would just be four turnbuckles per bed. Another thing I would make sure to do next year is to make sure that these posts are sticking out of the ground at least six feet. So the top of this bar, this one's really good. It should be above my head a little bit. So maybe at like the lines, if they're out about six and a half feet, I think would be really ideal. That way it's kind of at the top of your, your reach and the plants can get up as high as possible before you lower them. So that's something I would change. Also next year, to help prevent the mildew issue, I'm gonna not plant them as closely because I planted these tomatoes basically one foot distance, but offset. Here we can see an example. If you drew a line across from this tomato here, and you drew a line across from this tomato here, the distance would be 12 inches, but then they're offset, which allows more light and air to come through. I'm gonna push that to a little bit more distance, just because since we are coastal, we have a lot more fungal influence. So I think it'll be a little bit safer next year and just kind of spread them out. Whenever you have long growing plants packed tightly together, there's always a higher chance of more disease or pest outbreak. So I'm gonna space these probably 18 inches next year and just keep them a little bit further and hope that that will help as well with the fungal issues. Now the cukes were awesome. These are still doing good. I did take out my other cuke bed because it got infected with spider mites. But to, you know, to this day, this back corner is just incredible. They don't get as much sun here. It's kind of like a little protected area. They don't get as much wind. And just to show you how good they did and why this trellis was really cool. So, you know, I could have built like an eight foot trellis, but that eight foot trellis wouldn't have been that great because look how long these are. Here's the plant. I mean, these. this has got to be, it's going like back another foot farther behind that basil plant too. This is at least 15 feet. I should measure it though. All right. It's about 15. It's pretty cool. I never would have been able to grow a 15 foot cucumber in a regular trellis system. And they're going to keep producing because they have, still have tons of healthy fruit. They're looking really good. Basil's doing great. The basil was really nice interplanted with them. I grew so much basil that it did not need to have a separate basil bed. So the interplanting technique is really great. Here we are on October 2nd and they're still producing fruit so well that I decided to do one more round of interplanting. So I'm gonna experiment with planting some lettuce underneath them all. This is gem romaine lettuce. This is gonna be the fourth crop that's gone into this bed. First I planted the cucumbers and I seeded two rows of mixed greens in the center. Then once the cucumbers got bigger and I took the salad mix out, I planted basil along the edges. That grew, I just took that out. This is gonna be the final crop, some lettuce. So it's pretty cool, hoping to be able to get four separate crops out of this bed the whole time that I've had cucumbers in the ground and it really increases the profitability and allows me to grow a lot more varieties for my customers. Oh, remember how I was worried about the vinyl flaking off? That has not started to happen at all. All right, let's see if a fire will take the vinyl off of this aircraft line. Thank you to the viewer who suggested doing this. Let's see if it works. 
So it's pretty cool. The fire actually did take off all the vinyl. So this is a totally viable option to get it off. It's completely gone. Discolors the cable a little bit, but doesn't damage it whatsoever. Still be perfectly good to use. So, you know, this trellis, you can see kind of the birds flying on it. And, you know, having the trellises here really invited a lot of birds in to hang out. And it gave them a place to be really offensive and look for worms to come down and then eat them or to eat the little aphids or little bugs on the tomatoes. So they just did a really good job of keeping these plants clean all year. So those are kind of my final thoughts about it. But overall, it was a complete success. I'm really happy with this and it's very easy to take down as you're gonna see. I'll show you how I take it down. But basically all that you need to do is have an 11 millimeter socket, take four of these off, wrap up the lines, and then these posts pull out super easy and then you can store them very easily. So I was really happy with that aspect of the trellis system as well. Easy install, easy takedown, easy storing, and very cheap to build it. Definitely happy with it. I could definitely do it a little bit better next year, so stay tuned for that. I'll be showing you an upgraded design in the future for sure.